the war on drugs is moving into a new crisis. As violent cartels fight for their cut of an estimated $320 billion a year industry, the global production and supply of drugs such as cocaine are on the rise. Around 18 million people use cocaine globally, and the online world is making the drug more accessible than ever before. Britain, Spain, Australia and the United States consume the most cocaine, but a higher percentage of Albania's population use the drug than any other country, partly because it's a significant transit country for cocaine. Poorer nations in South America are the main producers. Colombia, just 34th on the list of biggest users, produces over half the world's supply. A kilo of cocaine that costs $2,200 in the jungles of Colombia can fetch $12,000 to $16,000 in Mexico, but by the time it makes its way to Europe, the same kilo is worth $53,000 to $55,000. Organized crime gangs are finding increasingly novel ways to transport ever larger volumes of the drug to these lucrative global markets. Old cannabis smuggling routes are now being used to transport cocaine such as the Bay of Gibraltar, where trafficking increased last year by an estimated 300%. Self-manufactured semi-submersible narco subs carry up to 7.7 .7 tonnes of Colombian cocaine to Central America and Mexico. And traffickers are hacking into the authorities' monitoring systems to avoid detection. Global seizures are on the rise, but so is global production of the drug now the highest level ever recorded. America spends $40 billion each year on the war on drugs. It arrests one and a half million of its citizens annually for drug offences and locks up half a million. But its tougher drug laws disproportionately affect the poor and minorities. Its zero tolerance on drugs has done little to curb addiction or overdose rates, which are the highest in the world. A rising number of global drug users and dealers now turn to the dark web to buy and sell anonymously, taking the war on drugs into uncharted territory. It's a battle the authorities can never win.